stronger than steel. A fraction of the weight of steel reduces dead loads. Better concrete confinement. V-Rod is used to reinforce slurry walls or caissons in soft eye areas. Tunnel boring machines cut through GFRP. Tunneling applications on the global market is actually very exciting. Uh, all of the cities are growing. Uh, there's no room to go above ground. And in the transits and LRTs, as well as sewers and transportation, there's going to be more and more tunneling done. And these are large scale projects. The only manufacturer in the world to produce all three grades of GFRP 40, 50, and 60 GPA. All bends comply with 50 GPA minimum and anchor heads in 60 GPA. It was the first time I had ever seen this product, so I was interested to see it in action. I was surprised to find out how strong it was, and it was essentially replaced bar for bar for steel. The bars are a quarter of the weight of steel. So installation crews will be able to do the install, do, do the placement with less fatigue, and the, the whole process will go much easier. And the process also goes much faster. Reduced worker fatigue means fewer worksite injuries and fast track schedules can be maintained. Bar certs verify compliance with high QC requirements. We have different grades of GFRP according to the CSA 807, so what we're able to do is actually, in terms of design, working with the consultants to optimize the design using the appropriate grade depending on the soil's condition. They've developed, for example, continuous spiral reinforcing with the GFRP, which most of the other suppliers only do circular ties. Uh, we're getting better performance out of that. We also provide a number of reinforcing dowels, smooth dowels for load transfer in concrete paving, or even in the case of uh, tunneling under runways, etc. Now we have a, a ready-made solution using V-Rod. I think that uh, more and more projects are going to be reinforced with fiberglass. I see already the changes within the, uh, the Ministry of Transportation here in the province of Ontario where they've already outright banned the use of epoxy coated, which was their first line of defense against corrosion. Now it's fiberglass. The, the structure is reinforced with fiberglass, not steel, that the only limiting factor on the durability or the length of life will be the concrete, not the reinforcing. And up to this point in time, through every structure that's been built, it's been the reverse where it's the steel that's given up and caused the concrete to fail. People coming to me with, with looking for solutions to corrosion issues, and, and we have that answer, which is, which is V-Rod. V-Rod is non-corrosive and non-conductive. It is perfectly suited to use in sensitive areas or where there may be electric or magnetic conductivity concerns. You cannot corrode this bar, so you will get 100 plus years out of, out of a structure's life. We will work with the teams on the site all the time. We'll never just drop the bar off and leave it there. Our contracts are typically with the rebar fabricators, so we work with them tightly to make sure it's delivered properly. Again, it provides support that we are not leaving them on their own and they can be confident on the go forward and using this on many of the other upcoming tunneling projects. It's easy to install, it's safe to use.